Morning, everybody. Uh, just heading out to go and check some traps. Got the sled warming up. Um, I don't have many out at the moment. Today should be a, a big day. I've, uh, I've got plans to try and get a bunch of coyotes slashed and a bunch of trap boxes made. And then hopefully tomorrow I can get a whole bunch of Fisher and Martin traps set out. I took bait out uh, just before the weekend. I didn't set any traps. I was waiting for tracks and stuff around it. So that again, tomorrow is probably gonna get set. I'm doing my valley run. Um, so uh, give you a little tour of my shop. Excuse the mess. Uh, I know lots of guys keep their shop just amazing and I absolutely wish I could. <laughs> I try and I try, but it never seems to happen. Okay, so I've got a big barrel stove. It's the only heat source in here. Uh, an old sewing machine that my mom had gotten. Uh, I thought I could use it for fur and I can't make it work. Bobbin doesn't want to cooperate. And there's a wolf that I got a couple of years ago. I self-tanned him. Uh, he had just a little wee bit of shoulder mite damage, so he wasn't worth anything to sell, but he was worth lots to me because that was the first wolf I ever got. Really excited. Um, just a bunch of old insulation. deer that I got this year. Uh, a couple of coyotes on the boards. Whole bunch to get done. There, uh, I can't remember how many is there, nine or ten. Uh, I've got a beaver that I've got to get on the boards. Mm. Tanned a couple of, uh, two foxes and three um, muskrats. We gotta break them in a little bit yet. And they're still a little stiff. <clears throat> and this is what I'm working on. It was supposed to be done for Christmas, but not quite there. So, uh, some elk hide that I bought, and then some muskrat that I've tanned, and then red fox on the back. So, and then it's getting a. Uh, uh, it's just fake sheepskin lining, but hopefully it'll be warm. Um, once workmates out of the way, that's my uh, beaver station. Uh, the top board is... Uh, let's see, take you up here. Uh, can't even see on this one, but I have the templates on it. For, for the beaver. Uh, see, there's there's the replacement boards. So I can do one beaver on the top, and then flip the board over, and do another beaver on the other side, and then hang them up to dry. There's all the fall rats that we got, and some beaver caster. I think I'm going to be starting after some more beaver. We don't have very much snow and perfect time for beaver, the most prime that you can get, and they make good bait. Other than that, that's about it. Uh, yeah, sewing machine. I'm going to be moving all this stuff out of the way today because we're going to be skinning the rest. Well, actually, probably won't get much skinning done today because everything's still frozen. Um, but uh, hopefully we can get some fleshing done. And then I've got all of these cut for um, for the Martin boxes, Martin and Fisher boxes. Okay, talk to you in a bit. Oh. 
Ну. It's a beautiful morning this morning. The sun's just coming up. Just heading in to check. Actually, the only bait site that I've got at the moment. So uh, let's go see what we get. So, snare number one. Nothing in there. Two, nothing in here either. I'm sure that I've got all the local coyotes from this area. So now it's just whatever coyote comes in from another area. Snare number three. I step over this one to check. Uh, snare number four. There's something is set it off, but there's nothing in it unless there's a rabbit or something. Oh no, it's just. I'll go around from the other way. Check the last one over here. All I can see in here is rabbit tracks. I haven't seen a coyote track yet. Oh, well, something's pulled this off too. So I'll get them reset and uh, that's it for checking traps today, but I will be turning you back on when we're doing some fleshing and and skinning and and making those uh, Martin and Fisher boxes. Talk to you a little later. Okay, I've just got uh, the coyotes that I've skinned previously and haven't fleshed. I've got them hanging to thaw out. I, I typically just roll them up. So I can unroll them now and hang them up. I'm probably gonna wash them before, uh, before I flesh them or after I flesh one of the two. So um, I've got five of them hanging there. And then I've got a bunch that I need the skin yet. I've just got them hanging here. So what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, five of my own and one of my brothers, and then I think I have three foxes hanging there. And then I have a few more down here of my brothers that we have to do the same. They've been skinned and uh, still need to be fleshed. Okay. My brother's shown up to help, but he also brought more hides. Got some coons up there that are going to be thawing out. Another coyote hide. And I got his coyotes hung up on this side. And a badger that he got. So these are all the coyotes that have been skinned and we need flesh yet. And then there's Four more coons up there to skin and flesh. And I didn't count all the coyotes. My brother brought, uh, well actually no, that's, a, that's all mine on there with the exception of one coyote.
done deal. Oh, no. Just working on some Martin Fisher boxes. Uh, we'll do the the opening for the trap later when we're, when the rest of it's done. We're just going to use a router, but that's basically what it's going to look like. Just doing the final touches on about 30 Fisher Martin boxes. I've fleshed a few coyotes. Got a bunch left to do. And everything else is still thawing out for skinning tomorrow. Just uh, showing you some of the furs that I've put up. Um, I've got these ones done. And then I've got three more here that I let go a little long and I'm having to soak the heads just so that I can get them flipped. The nose and, and face and stuff would be too dry to flip so I just have to get it wet a little bit. Just put in some lukewarm water, letting it soak for 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll uh, flip these two. Um, Being uh, that I used to be in purebred cattle, um, we have a, a grooming tool. It's a blower. So it works really, really well for getting the, the furs cleaned up. So, and to turn it on, it'll be a little noisy, but uh, I'll show you what it does for getting the, the coyotes all coyotes and foxes, well, everything, all furs, uh, all fluffed up and nice for market. Okay, so that's just a, a quick little demo of what it does. Uh, I typically spend a bit more time on them than that. I'll blow the fur one direction and then the other. And uh, just get it dried right out and any of the dust and dirt and anything left in the fur. And then I also work at the, the base of the tail here where when you're uh, fleshing you get that bit of grease and stuff. Once it's nice and dry, uh, taking the blower to it and it, it gets rid of that greasy look at the bottom and it really does a nice job on the foxes. Like when I'm done with it, it'll all look like the top there, all nice and fluffy and soft.
so we've got these ones and I've got some in the in the finished pile already I keep them in a, a Tupperware in a tub like that outside once the fur is done and then I've also got some tubs like that of furs that I have in different stages I've got everything skinned at the moment Took me a long time to thaw the coyotes out that I had to do, but finally did get them all skinned. I've got a few left to flesh and a few left to stretch. And just getting started on the Martin and Fisher line, I think I've got um, 12 or 14 boxes out at the moment. And uh, I've only got one coat bait set out at the moment. I'm going to be starting some new ones here in the next few days. Um, the old ones, just nothing left coming into them and it's changing some sights and stuff that's closer to home. Okay, so this is one that I've just finished getting cleaned up with the blower. So this is right by the tail. You can see that it doesn't look all greasy and stuff anymore. And uh, like the, the fur is just absolutely gorgeous now. So right above it, I've got one that isn't done. And you can tell the difference. Like this guy still looks all greasy and stuff from where we finished fleshing. So, oh, just thought I'd show you what we use. I would suggest every trapper go out and get one, but they're uh, they're very expensive. Uh, I I'm not sure. I think I think that blower is about six hundred dollars. I'm not positive on the price, but I know they're not cheap. Okay, so these are the skins that I told you that I hadn't flipped quick enough. So here's the nose. I finally have it soft enough to flip. But if you can listen, it sounds like a really crinkly paper bag. I need to get that a little bit softer in order to flip, otherwise I'll end up tearing it. So all I do is just grab a rag, a bit of water on it, so the nose does take quite a while to uh, to moisten up but the hide itself doesn't it, you know even probably four or five minutes <coughs> and the hide will have started to soften up so, soften up enough that i should be able to flip it without tearing <laughs> 